You can connect your Amazon Echo to Google Home and enjoy some limited interoperability if you own both brands of devices in your home. Setup requires a few steps, but once connected, you can do things like review your Google Nest camera on Echo Show, get doorbell alerts, and even control your compatible thermostat. In this video, I go over the setup and functionality of connecting your Amazon Echo devices to your Google Home and some of the areas that could do with improvement. If you're a smart home owner who finds themselves with a mix of Google and Amazon tech, the good news is that you can make them work together in some limited but useful ways. Thanks to a skill or app available in the Amazon Alexa library, it enables the different devices to communicate and use your Echo devices to interact with Google Nest devices. You can view camera feeds, control your Nest thermostat using your voice, or hear audio notifications when a visitor uses the Nest doorbell. There are some missing features I'd love to see added. These include being able to integrate the Amazon devices into your Google Home app more completely. Also, you can't include and group Echo devices as part of your existing Google Nest speaker network for broadcasts and music playback. You also can't use your Google Nest speakers for drop-in, so you can't use the speakers as an internal intercom system. However, the features that are available will be useful, especially if you really don't want to choose between the two brands for your smart home. To connect your Amazon Echo devices, you just need to do the following steps in the Google Home app. Open the Google Home app. At the top right, tap your account. Verify that the Google account shown is the one linked to your Google device. Tap Settings and Plus to add. Tap Service, Amazon Alexa Skill, and then tap Next. If you're running more than one Google Home, use the drop-down to select the profile associated with the home where your Echo devices are located. Next, scroll down and enable Allow Amazon to view information about your home. Then toggle on Access and Control. Select the Google Nest devices you'd like to include in your setup. For me, it was all my available devices, including my Google Nest Hub Max, which includes a built-in camera. Next, enable events if you'd like to take advantage of the AI events such as movement, people detection and package delivery. Then tap Next. You'll need to agree to Amazon's privacy policy and terms of service to continue. Finally, the app will launch the Alexa part of the process by activating the Google Nest skill. Tap Link to link your Google Nest account to Alexa. You'll receive a notification from the Alexa app, alerting you to the new connection between the accounts. There are a number of feature updates I'd personally love to see for better integration into your Google Home. Firstly, at this time, any connected Amazon devices do not appear in your device list in your Google Home app. It would be nice to see and group the devices in your predefined rooms to have access, even if that meant launching the Alexa app for extra convenience. Also, at this time, the intercom functions are separated between the brands. For example, you can't use your Echo devices to make a broadcast to Google devices. Similarly, you can't make announcement from the Google devices to your Echo devices. It's time to go now. The other major feature addition I'd love to see is the ability to track Amazon packages via my Google Nest devices. Alexa, where's my delivery? A package for order was delivered yesterday to the front door. Ideally, this would extend to all types of deliveries, but knowing the function is available on Amazon Echo, transposing it to the Google devices feels like it's closer to being possible than not. Thank you for watching, and as always, it would be great if you were to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content on personal technology and the connected home.